two NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams went to the International Space Station on June 5th. What started as a nine-day expedition now enters a month-long cycle and the two astronauts face uncertainty with regards to the return to Earth. What was the problem and how does NASA plan to bring them back? It was a crew flight test mission with Boeing's Starliner. The Starliner is designed to operate like the space shuttle, shuttling between Earth and orbit. However, since its liftoff on June 5th, the spacecraft has encountered multiple issues, most notably with its propulsion system. A significant concern arose due to helium leaks detected in the system responsible for regulating Starliner's thrusters. Helium is crucial for controlling propellant flow to the thrusters, essential for maneuvering in space. These leaks have prompted NASA to delay Starliner's return multiple times, with officials now aiming for a potential return no earlier than July 2nd, more than two weeks past its original schedule. Prior to liftoff, Boeing and NASA had planned for Starliner to spend nine days in space for this test mission. However, the ongoing helium leak issue has extended this mission duration significantly. NASA has assured that despite the ongoing issues with Boeing's Starliner, the spacecraft remains capable of bringing the astronauts back to Earth if required urgently. This capability is crucial in case Starliner needs to function as an emergency escape pod from the International Space Station. Additionally, it would be necessary if any critical components, like the spacecraft's solar panels, indicate signs of expiration earlier than anticipated. NASA's commercial crew program manager Steve Stitch has indicated that the US Space Agency is exploring the possibility of extending Starliner's mission duration from 45 days to 90 days. This decision hinges on ensuring that the spacecraft's battery life can support the extended operational period. Meanwhile, it is reported that Wilmore and Williams have seamlessly integrated into the ISS crew, carrying out their duties as usual. Again, so honored to be part of this crew.